So let's zoom back out and take a look at full track again. And now what we want to do is import an audio track that's already existing. So we'll go to Project and Import Audio. And we've got this audio track called News at 11 that was uh, downloaded from Podsafe Audio. It's uh, licensed under Creative Commons. And click Open. So now what you're looking at is multi-track, which means you have one track that's audio and another track, or one track that's your voice and another track that's the music that you imported. So this particular audio track is stereo, which means if you listen to it through headphones, um, you can hear some some tracks uh, on the left side in your left ear and other portions in your right ear. So actually, let's go ahead and split this stereo track and make each one of these mono, which means you'll hear the same thing in both ears. So now you're actually working with three tracks. And the nice thing about tracks, if you work with Photoshop or InDesign or any Adobe products, um, tracks are similar to layers and that you can uh, manipulate and edit each one of these tracks individually without affecting the other tracks. So right now, if I play this from the beginning, you can hear the audio to start, and you can also hear my voice going at the same time. But I don't really want that to happen. I want the audio to start and then fade out, then I want my voice to happen, and then I want the audio to fade back in at the end. So what I'll do is use this time shift tool and move my voice over a little bit to the right. So now if I click on play from the beginning, you can hear that the audio starts and uh, actually it's quite a bit louder than my voice and this first part maybe is a little bit annoying if uh, you know you don't want to scare your uh, your audience so let's get rid of that portion and you can see that this was kinda where all the uh, the noise in the track was happening because you can see where it happens and it got quiet and got loud again so let's just get rid of that okay so now let's see what we're working with Let's pause it there. Um, actually, this first portion of the audio is still maybe a little bit much for what we want to include, but starting right about at this point uh, is where we want the audio to begin. So we'll click there. So we'll get rid of everything that's from about this point forward. All right, so that sounds a little bit more like music <laughs> at this uh, beginning portion. So say for this track, and to simplify things, since these are both kind of the same, you can mute this track. And we'll also mute the vocal track. And listen to this portion of uh, the music. Alright, and then we'll mute that portion. Unmute the what was originally the right track and play it from there. So they're mixed a little bit differently, but they sound similar. So just for, uh, just for purposes of this tutorial, let's just get rid of this one track and we'll work with this single audio. So once you highlight a portion of your audio, you can go to Effect and Fade Out. Alright, so it fades out, and you can see where the cursor lines up here if I select. Right at the point where it fades out is pretty close to the point where I'm going to start talking. Alright, but also we have all this that's going to be occurring while I'm talking. So I need to get this to the end of um, my voice track. So one thing you can do is split the track and what that does is create silence in the original track and adds the other audio to a new track. So now I can use the time shift tool to click this track and slide it over to the right. So now what you have is um, a portion of the audio that's going to play then the cur cursor is going to move along here and it's going to reach my talking and it's going to go through until it gets to this point and then it's going to start playing the rest of the audio track that we cut and move down here. Alright, so let me just shorten my voice so you can hear how that's going to happen. I'm just going to get rid of all this, cut it, and we're going to slide this over. We can cut all this part as well. 
and let's play it from the beginning. All right, so you can see how that works, but one thing we notice is that this is pretty loud. We want it to fade in just as we did the fade out on the beginning. So once again, we'll just left click and select this audio, go to effect, fade in, and now it's going to fade in. All right, so you can hear how the audio fades back in at the end of the clip. Um, of course, your your vocal track is not going to be this short and uh, abrupt since we just kind of cut off the end part here. But you can see how that might be useful if you want to fade in some uh, music uh, and uh, excuse me, fade it in at the end, fade it out at the beginning. Have your voice in the middle. That kind of uh, makes your track a little bit more interesting. There's another option you can use. Do the undo so we can get this back out. Was um, and instead of going to effect and fade in. You can also use this envelope tool. So what you do here is once you left click on the envelope tool and you click on the track anywhere, you can see that it creates a pair of dots. There's one dot there and one dot there. All right, let's create another set of dots. So now you can see that once you have two sets of dots, you can drag them to fade in and out. This is adjusting the uh, amplitude of your audio. So here you can see it's loud and the envelope comes down and uh, makes it quieter. So that would be if you wanted to fade out the audio. If you wanted to fade in the audio, you would take the dots that are on the opposite portion and bring those closer together. So you can see that the waveform uh, is really small here and it gradually grows until it's loud. Same effect as the fade in uh, effect that we used earlier, except this gives you a lot more control over how how and when the uh, the fade occurs. All right, so as you can see, it gives it the same effect, um, just gives you more control over uh, over how you want it to sound. It takes a couple more extra steps than just using the effect and uh, fade in or fade out option. So it's up to you to decide which one uh, gives you the best results for what it is that you're trying to accomplish.